So here's some practice problems. Let's start up here. 10082. Remember our first rule. Zeros that are sandwiched between non-zero digits are always significant. These guys we know are significant. These guys are sandwiched between them, so they're all significant. Five total significant figures here. Okay, here we have one non-zero digit with a whole bunch of zeros coming to the right. The question that we ask ourselves is, is there a decimal point in the number? And no, there's not. No decimal point, no significance. This means that there's only one significant figure in this number. Now here we have the same number, 70 million, but there is a decimal point after. Zeros to the right of a non-zero digit are significant. If there's a decimal point, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight significant figures here. 0 0.0025, zeros to the left or coming before significant figures are never significant. Doesn't matter whether there's a decimal point or not. Never significant if they're coming to the left. So there are only two significant figures here. Okay? 0 0.00008914. Same rule goes here, right? All these zeros to the left coming before these numbers don't matter. One, two, three, four significant figures in this. 84.10000. Okay? Zeros coming to the right of non zero digits. Is there a decimal point in the number? There is, which means that every single one of these zeros is significant because of that decimal point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total significant figures here. Let's look at this. 3,000, uh, 3 million, 8,000. Again, zeros to the right of the digit. So, um, are these significant? No, they're not because there's no decimal point. But look at this. There are zeros that are sandwiched between. So, these guys are significant. Four total ones here. Sometimes what we'll have to do is we'll have to put some rules together, like we did with this. Okay? The next one here, zeros to the left are coming before non zero digits. These are significant. These are not. Okay? Let's do some more. Again, if this makes sense to you, don't feel like you've got to watch it all. I don't want to bore you. Um, but practice makes perfect if some things are still rusty. Okay, let's look at this one up here. There are a couple rules that we're going to have to take into consideration. The first is that there are these zeros sandwiched between the 5 and the 1. Okay, 5 and 1 are always significant, so if there's zeros between them, we know that the sandwiched zeros are significant. Now the question is, do these zeros that come to the right, are they significant or not? Well, there's a decimal point in the number, which means that they are. For a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 total significant figures here. Okay? Here we have a zero again that is sandwiched between non-zero numbers, which means that that sandwiched zero is also significant. There are also zeros that come to the left, or before, and as we've said, those types of zeros are never, ever significant. Only three here. Here we have a number with zeros coming to the right of non-zero digits. Is there a decimal point? Yes, there is, which means that all of these zeros are significant. And obviously, these guys are too, which means that we have uh, seven total significant figures here. 1.004, significant, significant. And since the zeros are sandwiched between it, they are also significant which means that there are four total significant figures there. Okay. In this number, we have a four that's significant and a three that's significant, which means the zeros sandwiched between it are also significant. Let's look over here. There are zeros that come to the left of this significant figure. Zeros to the left, not significant. Now let's look over here. There's a zero to the right of these significant figures. Zero to the right, we ask the question, is there a decimal point in the number? Yes, there is, which means this is significant. Five total ones here. We had to do three rules here. Zero sandwiched, then we had to look at the zeros to the left, not significant. Then we looked at the zero to the right, which was significant because of the decimal point. Okay? Here we have some zeros to the right. They are, shouldn't have done that, they are not significant because there's no decimal point in this number. So they're only Four, I'm sorry, there are only five significant figures here. These guys, of course, are significant because they're sandwiched in between. 5,000, zeros to the right. There's a decimal point. 
which means that they're all significant, four. 0 0.000305, significant, significant, and a zero sandwich between it means it's also significant. Zeros to the left, never significant, so there are only three numbers here. Let's do just a few more, and again, turn this off if you've already got it. I don't want to bore you, uh, but I do think practice can be a good thing. This number here, all of these non-zero numbers are significant, and we see there, there are two places where there's zero sandwiched between them, which means that this sandwich zero is significant, and this sandwich zero is significant. The zeros to the right, are they significant? Well, when they're to the right, is there a decimal point in the number? Yes, there is. Every single one of the numbers is significant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight significant figures here. Look at this number. Well, we have a number of non-zero significant digits. Every zero, this one, this one, this one, and this one that's sandwiched between them is significant. Are these guys significant? It's to the right. Is there a decimal point? There is. One, two. Every single one of them is significant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten total. Wow, let's look at this long guy. Okay, again, break it down. The five, the nine, and the six we know are significant, which means that any zeros sandwiched between them are also significant. The zeros coming to the left of significant numbers are never significant. We don't have to worry about them. There are zeros coming to the right. Is there a decimal point in the number? There is. So the zeros to the right are significant because of the decimal point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Total significant figures here. 8, 9, significant, sandwich 0 is also, 1, 2, 3 to the right, they are significant because there is a decimal point at the end. 6 total here. 2, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros to the right, definitely significant because there is a decimal point in the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 total significant figures here. And finally, a number here, zeros to the left of significant digits are never significant. Zeros to the right, these three will be significant because of that decimal point, which means that there is a total of six significant digits in this number. So to quickly review our three main cases, zero sandwiched between non-zero significant digits, always significant. Zeros to the left or coming before uh, non-zero digits, never significant. And if zeros come to the right of non-zero significant digits, they're only significant if there's a decimal place in the answer. So now I hope all of this is crystal clear. I hope you're really comfortable with it. So now we'll go on to the next videos so and we'll talk about how to multiply, divide, subtract, and add numbers uh, that have zeros and uh, significant figures.